Pomfret is a very versatile fish. You can make many variations of this particular fish. I have already uploaded quite a few pomfret recipes, be it pomfret biryani or pomfret masala. But this time it's going to be pomfret curry. So let's get started. I'm going to begin uh, by making uh, the very basic spice paste. For that I have here just three medium cloves of garlic and then I have half inch piece of ginger and then I have a small um, onion and then about a medium to small size tomato I'm going to grind all these uh, four ingredients to a fine paste so this is the paste and then apart from the spice paste I have few other ingredients here I have one teaspoon of cumin seed powder half a teaspoon of punch foran and then I have one bay leaf then of course salt is to your taste and then half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and about a tablespoon of red chilli powder I have taken her Kashmiri red chilli but you can take any uh, red chilli of your choice and uh, apart from uh, this half a teaspoon of turmeric powder I will be adding another uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder while marinating the fish and since it's pomfret fish curry I have here some pomfret fish this would be about a pound and um, I have just two medium sized pomfrets and I just chop, uh, cut it into half and then I have one large potato which I have cut into uh, six wedges since it's Oriya style uh, pomfret curry then obviously we love adding potatoes I al as I always say so uh, I have just uh, soaked the um, potatoes in a little water so that it doesn't turn dark and that's it the fish and the potatoes and some salt and some turmeric powder so just one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of turmeric powder I'm going to begin by marinating the fish so goes the salt and the turmeric powder yeah salt and turmeric in let's just move the potatoes away and I'm going to marinate the fish with the salt and turmeric really well so rub it really well and keep it marinated for about 10 minutes and in the meanwhile we will uh, just deep fry the potatoes and that's it rub it really well so finally the fish is marinated I'm going to keep it for 10 minutes now to deep fry the potatoes I have heated here about 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil and added the potatoes and I'm going to deep fry it on medium heat till it turns golden and brown and if you wish you can use uh, mustard oil as well as you can see potatoes have turned nice golden and brown I'm going to take it out and the next step is to shallow fry the fish so this is ready now to the remaining oil I'm adding the fish and I'm going to fry this fish on medium heat till it turns golden and brown from both the sides. Always make sure that the uh, oil is nice and hot. It should be on smoking point. Otherwise, if you add the fish, the skin is going to stick to the pan. So just make sure it's nice and hot and then you add the fish. And always be careful while um, frying fish, shallow frying or deep frying because it splutters really bad so time to flip as you can see this side has got that nice golden and brownish color so once the other side gets the same I'm gonna take it out and then we'll start making the gravy so finally the fish is done nice golden and brown from both the sides I'm gonna take it out and the next step is to make the gravy and I'll be using the leftover oil but if you wish you can use some fresh oil as well so just take it out now to make the gravy to the remaining oil I have added two more tablespoons of vegetable oil and to the hot oil I have added uh, the bay leaf and the punch forin the seeds are done now to this I have added the spice paste and along with the spice paste I am adding all the dry ingredients the cumin seed powder red chili powder turmeric powder and a little bit of salt yeah. Now I'm going to cook this masala on low heat till all the moisture dries out and oil starts to ooze out and by the time the masala will be completely cooked so just keep the heat on low and cook till all the moisture evaporates and this masala is well done 
and you will find oil separating. So finally as you can see this masala is ready, oil is oozing out. So that's it. Now to this I'm adding the fried potatoes and after adding the potatoes I'm going to stir it for about a minute on medium to low heat and then I'll add some water and cook the potato. Since a uh, fish takes very little time to get cooked through and these potato pieces will take a little while more that's why I'm going to cook the potatoes first and then once the potatoes are almost done I'll add uh, the fish and then I'm going to cook it further. So that's it, it's done now. Now to this I'm adding some water. I have added here about a cup of water but you can add water up to your taste uh, more or less. Just bring it to a boil. Then I'm going to cover the lid and let it cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. As you can see the gravy has come to a boil. After 10 minutes open the lid. Yes, it looks awesome. Oil is floating on top and the potatoes are almost done. Now to this I'm adding the fish. But before that I have added some more water, about one more cup of water because the fish is going to soak a lot of moisture since it's dry. Again bring the gravy to a boil. Yes, the gravy has started boiling, now goes the fish or the fried fish. Give it a gentle stir. That's it. Now I'm going to cover the lid and let it cook again on low heat for about um, another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes open the lid. This curry looks absolutely ready. If you wish a little thinner gravy you can add a little more water but this gravy is just perfect and at this point if you wish you can add some chopped up coriander and a little um, garam masala powder but I'm gonna keep it like this nice and simple so I'm gonna serve it now. The very very delicious pomfret fish curry is ready. You can serve it with some steamed rice. The fish is nice and tender and the best thing about this particular fish is that it has very few bones. So for all those people who are really really afraid of fish bones, this fish is the perfect fish. It has a very unique taste and texture to it and that's why it's a favorite fish of many. So do try this very delicious dish and share your comments and your suggestions. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe and share. We will meet next time. Till then, bye-bye.